Chairman, and I want to thank you and um, Senator Alexander for working so hard to get an authorization bill out. I hope we can get that done. And thank you, Mr. Secretary, for coming up. I know you're a very busy man. It's not often that uh, I'm in full agreement with uh, uh, Senator Sanders, but um, I agree with his uh, commentary. Uh, he's in a colloquy there with Senator. Uh, what is your name, sir? No, I'm just, I'm giving him a hard time. Uh, yeah, he and I have a thing about Jack Benny, and it's a completely different uh, subject. But <laughs> whatever. At any rate, uh, we were country before country was cool, and uh, we didn't receive any money either, Bernie, and I would uh, like to join you in that respect. Mr. Secretary, my state has created a statewide commission consisting of educators, school board members, representatives from education organizations, higher education institutions, and as you can see, I'm reading from a list here, but it's um, the best we have in regards to education in Kansas, including Emporia State University, which you visited, and I appreciate your coming there. That is a teacher learning center, and we produce a lot of very fine teachers there. But we're in regulatory purgatory, sir. Uh, we had the uh, Kansas Association of School Boards come in, and to a person, Democrat, Republican, Independent, or whatever, the politics didn't matter. It was the fact that uh, they said, please, uh, the race at the top right now and trying to get past a conditional waiver uh, is a race to regulations. And we don't have much time. Uh, this morning I was talking to an old friend about another matter, and he said, please call my son. Uh, he's up in, I'm, I'm not going to name the county, I don't want to name the county for fear that somebody's going to descend upon them. But at any rate, they were having such a difficult time with uh, principle three, that's the one with principal and teacher uh, evaluation. He says, we're doing fine up here. Uh, we're trying to meet the criteria as best we can according to the state, but the state says that they're not going to have a waiver anyway, so what are we doing? And uh, so uh, they don't have enough folks to really address this problem. We, you know, we have enough problems just getting good teachers to uh, teach uh, good kids. One thing about Vermont and Kansas is that we have fine teachers in small schools. Uh, basically not that overcrowded and so we can really get the job done. Uh, my question to you is that of the six criteria, can you work with us on our statewide commission? We are uh, conditional now. Uh, we think we can uh, meet the criteria. We think we can do the job. And I don't know where we are on that, but I would hope that you could uh, at least find a waiver and not make us conditional. I mean, conditional is just, you know, treading water. So yeah, happy to work with you. I think Kansas is in good shape. Happy to get any details there, but uh, Kansas... Work with the governor, uh, Senator, uh, former Senator, and now Governor Brownback and Diane uh, DeBacher. She's the Commissioner of Education in Kansas. They both are dedicated to this, yeah, yeah. trying to meet the criteria to so. uh, get a waiver. But that poses a whole different thing. According to this particular county superintendent, he says, I'm a superintendent here. And I told him I was going to be meeting with you, or at least, you know, yeah, have the... Yeah. Uh, privilege of having you before us, and uh, he indicated, he said, well, you know, tell Secretary Duncan I'm the superintendent. He isn't. That's pretty strong words. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, so, I, so again, the application comes from the state. Happy to talk to that particular person, but happy to talk to the state soup as well. And I think the dialogue needs to be between that local superintendent and the state to make sure they're aligned. Right. Well, he's having a lot of dialogue with him. He's not having much uh, uh, success, success. And okay. he's just upset that there's too many uh, regulations to put up with. Uh, at, at any rate, uh, so we're, we're, we're happy to follow up on that. You know, he's of the opinion that local control is best control and not top down. And uh, so I just want you to know there's a lot of angst out there. There's a yeah. lot of uh, concern. Uh, I know my uh, dear friend, uh, Senator Isaacson in Georgia, has uh, got much lower blood pressure on this than I do, and that you're working fine with Georgia. And uh, if you can just work uh, with Candace, I would appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Roberts, and now Senator...